So it's time for another lap of the Grand Theft Auto 5 map. And this time we're doing it in one of the other uh, offer cars from this week, and that's the Pegasi Reaper. Now, this is uh, my Pegasi Reaper that I bought ages ago and then never really used. I never really used it because once I um, once I got it, I kind of fell out of love with it. It's, uh, it's a fabulous looking car. It's based on the Lycan Hypersport. Um, which is the car that did, you know, that stunt in Fast and Furious 7. But yeah, yeah, we'll not talk about that. Um, but yeah, it's most, mostly based on that. And it, it is a nice looking car, but where it fell down for me is there's almost no customization for this whatsoever. Um, you've got a couple of spoilers, you've got paint colours and that's about it um, and I like to kind of, ooh, oh dear. I like to um, personalise out every car that I've got and I didn't feel like this one really gave me many options so it has been a very long time since I've driven it and I've got to admit coming back to it today it's a lot nicer than I remember it being it's not quite as quick um, as I thought it would be but handling around the city is really really nice you can nip in and out of traffic really really easily so let's uh, let's get it on the freeway and see what, how it does there oh dear me this is not looking like a good lap so far I think I may have overcooked the brakes a little bit there. But yeah, on the freeway, it's actually pretty nice. The, the only worry when you've got a car that's doing really well on the freeway is whether it's only actually doing that well because it's not that fast. Um, because obviously when you slow these things down a little bit, it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the traffic. But yeah, in terms of freeway handling, this is pretty nice actually. It's, it's all round, it's actually surprisingly nice to drive. So let's get around here and do a top speed test. Now this is another one where I am not holding out much hope that this is going to do um, a particularly high top speed around this section of track, which for those of you that are new, uh, for those that are, that are new to the channel, uh, I have a section of road that's exactly one mile long that's marked out. I floor this thing and time how long it takes me to do a mile and that gives you a really accurate uh, measurement for how uh, for what I was able to average. The finish line is just coming up here under this sign. So let's have a look at what we managed to do. Um, I've just realised I hardly said anything about this. This is supposed to be a review. There's not much reviewing going on. And I think that's because I found this car pretty forgettable, um, as demonstrated by the fact that I forgot that I'd bought it. Um, it looks okay. I mean, it certainly drives nice enough, um, but it's difficult to think of a reason why this should be the car that you buy this week. If you're only buying one, um, the only reason to buy this is if you've already got the others. It's perfectly nice. It does look quite nice, but there's no customization. Um, so as I get ready for the last few uh, sections, um, great that it started raining. I think I'm going to be able to finish the lap anyway. Whilst it does drive nice, not particularly fast, you're not going to win any races in it. Um, so I guess this is this is one for the collectors really. If you're filling your garages up, then yeah, go for it. It's perfectly nice, nice looking car, drives okay, um, is relatively relatively expensive for what you're actually getting. So I think this is probably not one I'm going to recommend for you this week, unless unless you're collecting. But let's have a look at the final times. Thanks so much for watching. Please do drop a like, subscribe, and I will keep these kind of videos coming.